Okay, so the next part was that I actually do believe that brown skin people are the devil because you know women could be God and man could be Jesus because I feel like God and Jesus was just parents they just were people who had kids and what do you call a person who has kids you call that a parent and I feel like humans could be parents and so they could be Jesus and they could be God a man could be Jesus and a woman could be God or it could be the vice versa but you can't really be both um but uh that's just what it looks like in the beginning but things change as time goes by um but um I do believe that brown skin could be the devil and I showed y'all the picture of the devil I'm gonna show y'all again and I was saying that what happened in Genesis chapter 3 was that the serpent came up to the wife who was the only woman on earth at the time the first woman on earth not the only woman she was the first woman on earth and he came up to her and was like you should eat the fruit and made her manipulated her and made her eat the fruit of the poison tree and um she gave the fruit to her husband and the husband also ate the fruit of the poison tree and i was saying that okay here go the picture right here i was just showing y'all the picture of the serpent because I wouldn't mess with this serpent. So, like, if this thing right here came up to you and was like, eat this fruit and give it to your husband, I kind of would be afraid as well. And, you know, of him. And I would hear him out and listen to what he's telling me to do. But the woman, she listened to him in the story. She listened to him. And she gave the fruit to her other villagers, and they all ate the fruit of the poison tree. Now, now what I was saying was that brown-skinned people could be the devil, and they could be him. But in the story, the devil came up as a serpent, the thing that I just showed y'all, and transformed into a human and started talking to the woman, telling her to eat this tree fruit and i thought and i and i was saying as a christian i believe that brown skins are the devil because they make you do some bad things they teach they they say bad things they say evil things and they talk ill me of people and i said that they could be um the devil now i'm only 21 years old so, um, I just started reading about the devil again. It's been 14 years. It's been 14 years since I read about the devil. The last time I read about the devil, I was with my entire family. We all were together. We were reading the Bibles and reading the books and learning more about the devil. And we all came to the conclusion that, you know, the devil is brown skin people. And as a family, we regrouped ourselves to remembering that the devil is a serpent in disguise as a human being. And I really wouldn't mess with this person because he's very, very intimidating and he can transform himself, his body. He can transform his body and I really wouldn't mess with him. And he can manipulate you as well. And so, yeah, I really wouldn't mess with him unless you were. I 
don't know because God, even God didn't mess with the serpent. Did he? I, I, actually, I think the God had cursed the serpent. If I'm not mistaken, God cursed him and said that the serpent is cursed. And he, um, in the book, I have the book. I'm going to read it exactly off the book and tell you what the curse was that God cursed the serpent and said. So, I'm getting the Bible out right now. And I'm going to read to y'all the curse. It says, And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast thou the serpent, is the devil because thou has done this thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field upon thy belly shall thou go and thou in dust shall thou eat all the days of life and that was the curse on the serpent and So God did talk to the serpent and he cursed him in section in 14 section 2 chapter 2 section 14 he cursed him I mean chapter 3 section 14 he had cursed him and um, he talked to the to the serpent, and so I do believe that even God did talk to the serpent, and so I do think there's times where you might have to talk to curse the serpent or how Christians call them devil out at times. And so yeah, I did want people to understand that it's okay to talk to the devil women if you're a woman or if you just consider yourself as god then you know you can talk to the serpent god has been one to talk to the serpent before and even though he just cursed him out he still is still considered as talking even though it doesn't say that the serpent responded in genesis but maybe if i keep reading on that the serpent might have responded to the curse so if i keep reading on i haven't got that far in the book yet but here's the book right here holy bible it's the holy bible it says it right there and so yeah peace and blessings